hello out there welcome to this tutorial still again on probability if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on probability so in this video we'll be looking at outcome tables so we take our first example in a single throw of a pair of unbiased dice, find the probability of obtaining a pair A of odd numbers, B of prime numbers, C whose sum is 7. In this uh, problem, we are going to create an outcome table. So creating an outcome table we have uh, the first die here numbered one to six and the second die comes here and also numbered one to six in this situation since it is a single true of a pair of unbiased dies we are going to create the outcomes so here in this cell it is one one two one three one four one five one and six one for the first row of the outcomes now the second row we have a one two 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 three two four two five two and six two for the second row for the third row I have one three two three 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 four three five three and six three the fourth row we have a one four two four three four 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 five four six four the fifth row we have a one five two five three five four five 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 and six five and the final row we have a one six two six three six four six five six and six six these are the outcomes of throwing a pair of unbiased dice now we go to the first problem we are looking for probability of obtaining a pair of odd numbers so to get the probability of getting a pair of odd numbers we we'll look at the odd rows that is the rows for one three and five and collect the pair of odd numbers there so the first one here is one one three one five one and in the row of the odd number three we have a one three 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 and five three and the rule of five i have one five three five and the five five so we count the total number of pair of odd numbers that's one two three four five six seven eight nine so since there are nine pairs of odd numbers and the total outcomes here is six by six which is 36 we have the probability of getting a pair of odd numbers as nine over 36 and that gives one over four and that's the solution for a part of the problem we go to b part for b we are looking for a pair of prime numbers so again we get the pairs of prime numbers we're also going to consider the rules with prime numbers that's two three and uh, five so for two we have a two two three two five two and the rule of three we have a two three 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 and five three there and finally for the rule of five i have two five 
three three and five five if we count again this is three 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 nine over thirty six and that also give us one over four and that's the end of b we go to c we are looking for a pair of numbers whose sum is seven then we go back to our outcome table to look for pairs of numbers whose sum will give us a seven if you look at one two three four five six six and one will give us a seven three and four give seven and five and two give seven so we look for those entries so we have a six and one five and two four and three three and four two and five and one and six so we have one two three four five six so there are six pairs of numbers whose sum will give us a seven and that will give us six over thirty six which gives one over six in the simplest form and that is the end of solution to example one so we we'll go to example two for example two two fair dice are thrown at once and the sum of their outcomes are taken a construct the outcome table b from the table find the probability that the sum is prime two exactly divisible by three three perfect square so two fair dice are thrown meaning the dice are perfect dice each of the faces has equal chance of showing up when thrown if they are biased it means one or two particular faces have the chance of showing up every time it is thrown so the same thing when we say unbiased dies so we start the solution from a um, we construct the outcome table here is the table the first die has a uh, faces one to six and the second die also has faces one to six since the sum of the outcomes are taken so for each cell we add the corresponding values for the first die and the second die so one plus one gives two two plus one three three plus one four four plus one five five plus one six and six plus one seven and here we have a one plus two three two plus two four three plus two five four plus two six five plus two seven and six plus two eight and here we have one plus three four two plus three five three plus three six four plus three seven five plus three eight and six plus three nine the in this row we have one plus four five two plus four six three plus four seven four plus four eight five plus four nine and six plus four ten and row five we have one plus five six two plus five seven three plus five eight four plus five nine five plus five ten and six plus five eleven and the last row we have a one plus six seven two plus six eight three plus six nine four plus six ten five plus six eleven and six plus six gives twelve so we are done with a we go to b b1 the probability of getting the sum that is prime so we go to the outcome table and look for all the prime numbers so two is prime three is prime five is prime and seven is prime here three is prime five and seven here five is prime seven is prime and if here five prime seven prime here we have seven prime eleven prime 
7 prime and 11 prime. So we count the total number of prime sum. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have the probability as 15 over 36. And 3 goes here gives uh, 5. 3 goes that will give us 12. So the probability of obtaining this sum that are prime is 5 over 12. We go to B2, exactly divisible by 3, that is a multiple of 3. So we go to the table, look for all the numbers divisible by 3. We have 3, 6, 3, 6 here, 6 and then 9, 6 and 9, 6 and 9, then we have uh, 9 and 12. So it's like 2 from each row, and that will give us a total number of 6. So that's 2 times 6, giving us uh, 12 numbers divisible by 3. And the probability of obtaining a sum exactly divisible by 3 will be 12 over 36, and that will give us 1 over 3 in the simplest form. And as that for the problem, we go to B3, perfect square. The sum that are perfect uh, square, the probability of obtaining sum that are perfect square, we go here, what are the perfect squares? Here we'll be talking about 1, there is no 1, 4, 9, 16. So we have uh, 4 and 9 here, so we collect the numbers we collect the number of a uh, four and nine from the outcome table. So we have the four in this diagonal, four nine in this diagonal. So I have four, 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 nine, 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 and the nine. That's all. So we have three here and four here, giving us a total of seven perfect squares. That will give us the probability to be 7 over 36. And that is the end of solution to example 2. We go to example 3. Example 3. Two fair dice are thrown at once. And the products of their outcomes are taken. Find the probability that the product is A greater than 20. B a factor of 15. C a perfect cube. And D a perfect square. So in this case, it is the product of the outcomes. We start from constructing the outcome table. For your information without outcome table, I, the solution of these problems cannot be reached. So we have the first die here, which is one to six. And here we have the second die, also one to six. And it is the product we are looking for now. So for each cell, now we find the product of the corresponding values for first die and second die. So 1 times 1 gives 1, 2 times 1, 3 times 1, 3, 4 times 1, 5 times 1, 6 times 1. And here is 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, 5 times 2 and 6 times 2. And here 1 times 3, 3, 2 times 3, 6, 3 times 3, 9, 4 times 3, 12, 5 times 3, 15, and 6 times 3, 18. Here we have 1 times 4, 4, 2 times 4, 8, 3 times 4, 12, 4 times 4, 16, 5 times 4, 20, and 6 times 4, 24. And here we have a 1 times 5, 5, 2 times 5, 10, 3 times 5, 15, 4 times 5, 20, 5 times 5, 25, and 6 times 5, 30. Finally, we have this row as 1 times 6, 6, 2 times 6, 12, 3 times 6, 18, 4 times 6, 24, 5 times 6, 30, and 6 times 6, 36. 
So we are done creating the outcome table. We start with problem A and the probability of getting product greater than 20. Um, greater than 20. 20 is not inclusive. I think they are here. 24, 25, 30, 24, 30, and 36. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 over 36, and that will give us 1 over 6 as in the simplest form. That is the probability of obtaining product greater than 20. We go to be the probability of obtaining a factor of 15. Factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15 itself. So we we'll collect all the entries or outcomes that are factors of 15. So I have one there, 3, 5. I have, um, there's none here. So I have 3 here and 15. There's none here. I have 5 and 15 and there is none here. So we count the total number of factors of 15, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have it as 7 over 36. And that's the end of solution to 3B. We go to C. That is a perfect cube. We want to get the probability that the product of the outcomes is a perfect cube. Now we collect all the perfect cubes there. One is a perfect cube. Eight is a perfect cube. 27 is a perfect cube. And so on. So we look at the perfect cube here. One is a perfect cube. 8 is a perfect cube, 8 is a perfect cube, and that is all. So we have three values or entries that are perfect cube, and that will give us a 1 over 12 in the simplest form. Then the probability of getting product that is a perfect square. Again, the perfect squares are 1 4, 16, 25, 36. So we now go row by row and collect the perfect squares we have there. We have 1, 4, 4, 9, 4, 16, 25, and 36. So we count the total number of perfect squares there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that will give us 8 over 36. And 4 divides 8 to give 2 over 9 as the probability of getting the product of the outcomes to be perfect square. And that's the end of solution to example three. And this is the highest we can take in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the links to other videos on probability. Until I come your way again, goodbye.